Hey everybody, AJ here. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to wirelessly and remotely reset your router. There's a couple of reasons why you want to reset your router, but the main one that I can think of is that your internet is going really slow. Being able to wirelessly reset your router means that you can reset the connection and hopefully fix any of your internet problems. And the best part about it is you don't even have to get up off the couch to do it. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do it on the Huawei B525, which is a wireless 4G router but the premise is the same, so no matter what router you have, it's gonna be very similar steps. What I'm about to show you is gonna be super easy to do, and if you're ever having issues with your internet speeds or the connection to your router, I always think it's the first thing you should do because it fixes the majority of your problems. What we're gonna do is essentially take out the battery or the power from the router, and it's gonna do the reset, but you're not gonna to have to physically grab your router. This is great if your router is hiding behind a TV cupboard or it's just in a hard to reach place, or if you're just being lazy and you're sitting on the couch and you can't be bothered to get up. I'm going to reset the router. But it's too far away. Guys, can you, can you pass me the router? Pass, it, pass me the router, just reset it for me. Stupid bear. What are you going to do? So stay tuned because this tip is really quick, really easy, and most likely going to fix any of your internet problems. The first thing you want to do is open up the web page and put in our router's IP address. So I'm going to open up Microsoft Edge here, put in 192.168.8.1 and hit enter. This is going to take us to the home page of my Huawei router and what I'm going to do next is open up my settings. Here it's going to ask me for my username and password. Mine is admin and then the password is the same password on my router. And this is going to take us over to our settings. On the left hand side here you can see it says quick setup, your dial up options, your VPNs and we're going to scroll all the way down to where it says systems. So this is your physical router that we're now going into. Here it gives us a number of different options of looking at the device information, modifying the password, diagnosis, so seeing if there's anything wrong with the router, restoring it back to factory default and then there is the reset option. We're going to select on reset and this is essentially like taking the battery or taking the power out of it and doing a power cycle, except you don't have to physically touch it, you can do it all remotely from here. So what I'm going to do now is hit the reset button and what's going to happen is if you can see your router, you're going to see it's going to shut down for about 30 seconds or so and it's going to reset everything. When you hit the reset button, you're going to lose internet connection for that 30 to 60 seconds while it does the reset because you've essentially pulled the plug out of it, but once it's fully reset, the computer should just connect back up to it and continue working, hopefully better than before you hit that reset button. I told you it was quick and easy, right? It was only a couple of steps, you didn't even have to move off the couch, and you reset your router. If you're ever having issues with your router or your connection to the internet, this is the first tip I recommend anybody to do because it is so quick, so easy, and almost guaranteed to fix any of your internet problems. Of course, if you guys found this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you really want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.